Donc, What's up? What's going on, guys? What's up, Jeremy? I PM the thing to you because I can't post in announcements. Bad hug normally does that for me, but uh doesn't appear to be on. I said it's because I am minimized right now. Uh-oh. Could not move. I'm reconnect. Unknown, long time no see. What's going on, man? No problem, Mr. Yo. Wait on one more. Should be a pretty good even match, I think. I would say... Not in the way, not in the, way the bad hook does it. That's all good. Thanks, Lou. Appreciate that. Ah, Kenichiwa, Paji. Good day, sir. How are you, my friend? Oh, where's our uh, action music? Can't have a cast without action music now, can we? I'm good, man. Thank you. Doing pretty good. Oh my god, every time I minimize, I can't move. What is this shit? That's never been a thing. So, Lou, tell, tell me. What's the big plan for the date night with the wife tonight, huh? What's the plan? <laughs> yes, Crux, a cup game on Dooku, yes, indeed. Always good stuff, especially in Division 1. Dooku Command of the maps. Movies and snacks, beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it really has to be a night in at this stage, doesn't it? I know like all the restaurants where I live, you can't even eat in them anymore. You can only get takeout in that. You can't really go out anywhere to do anything. I have had Div 3 games. I've had Div 3 games, Div 4 games acid. Why, do you have a match today? <laughs> I'd rather you cast with me too, Lou. I'm not going to lie. Saturday. That should be fine. I've casted a couple of your matches, Acid. I think there will be another match that we're casting today. There's going to be two today. The next one will should be, uh, I believe it'll be a roughly half an hour or so after this one's done. Well, Acid, I, I don't, uh, 
I'm a very honest streamer. Someone's having a bad game. I'm not gonna lie about it. SCT poggers. What's up, Tox? Oh yeah, why isn't Fonzie playing? Are they better without Fonzie? I'm not sure that they are, are they? He's, he played really good at, on defense against us. Fonzie did. And Stong, not, not what he used to be. Stong was very clearly blatantly cheating in the Nina days and he's not cheating now and he's, his numbers have literally been cut in half without cheats. I don't know, I think Fonzie's been pretty good. So they got Damien. This is a good lineup though. Damien, Spec, Apoc, Unbreak, and Stong. I, ex I expect X Machina to win both maps. They are the home team and SP. I just don't think SP is a very good team. They're really not. They have good players on their team, but it's just a, such a weird balance of players. They don't, they have too many D players. They don't, they only really have one good flag runner and Marky. Kangsta can be decent depending which Kangsta we see today. We get OG healthy most for us, I agree. There's some healthy emotes right there, Lou. They're popping in chat now. But yeah, I fully anticipate X Machina winning both maps here. That would be my prediction. That would be my prediction indeed. Good day, Meep. Me redeeming the highlighted message. Oh yeah, there's no Azor. Just realized that. Did he rage quit the league? As the countdown has begun, and we're gonna get underway map number one. Well, we got a double crash, so we will soon enough be underway, I would say. Map number one of SP versus X Machina, Stong crashed. Someone's always got to crash. And there he goes again. And there goes Chaos. And there goes Unbreak. Dropping like flies in here. Dropping like flies. Okay, everyone's back in. All four to click in for X Machina. Spect is quite strong here. It's good on every map. They're gonna have a lot of fragging is X Machina. For the Dooku. Stong is gone again, perhaps trying to use the cheat he was using before, I don't know, but he can't seem to keep himself in the game right now. Surely no one's playing on patch 436. I know people that have been testing it have had issues with crashing. I can't imagine anyone would be using that in a match, would they? can't be as we the countdown was on and we've now proceeded into some random delay because 
Strong. Trying to keep himself in the game. So we're back at the casting desk. We're back at the desk. Marky's out of there. He's had enough. So what happened with Azor? He just said, fuck it. My team can't win now, so I'm out of here. That's not a that's not a very very team friendly move, is it? Just to abandon them like that. Maybe they'll be better without him. To be honest. Azor a good player, but he plays for himself and he plays for his own stats and not much of a team player and Generally not that useful, especially if he's on attack, so. Who knows, it might be a blessing in disguise. Is there was like, fuck it? That name looks familiar, but I don't really recall. Is he like a CV player or something? I know you do, Fonzie. I know you do. Fonzie, you benched yourself. The rave board music. <laughs> Goddamn right, man. Goddamn right. Fonzie, you might have to come in for a song. What is happening with song right now? Uh, you're not used to the new setup. Well, you have a very strong lineup in there. I would definitely... If, if you were in there over Unbreak, I think that'd probably be the strongest lineup you guys could field, I would say. Nice action music, thank you. We love our action music here. What emote is that? Is that a Dusik emote? What is that? It is a Dusik emote. Interesting. I hadn't seen that one. I saw the other one in uh, Discord. Best loop ever made, thank you. Custom made loop by myself. I do everything custom myself. My action music's custom, my soundboard is custom. We don't fuck around here. Yo, Rasta, what's up, man? Fried chicken is custom. <laughs> As Stong continues to just crash every time he joins, I don't know what's going on here. The Stong is having issues. I unironically think SP's lineup is better uh, how it is right here than with Azur playing. I'm not even joking. They have better balance now. Because now Marky's in. They have three good flag runners. Chaos on the lower end of that, but... And Kangsta, Chaos, and Marky. And then they have their D with Dickfish and Bug. The lineup has more flow, if you want to call it that. It seems more proper without Azor in. I think they're better off without him. Talking about problems recording demo. It's questionable business.
<laughs> Yo, what up, Chad? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm... Oh, we're underway! We're underway! Yeah, Jive, I, I'm predicting X Machine to win both maps as well. I'm just saying, I, SP hasn't been good all season. And uh, I actually do think that this lineup that SP has in now is better off than the lineups they're running with Azure in it. It was just too random with Azure. Like, it was just... There wasn't any teamwork. They had no hard attack. I don't know. I like this better. We did see Chaos with the first grab of the game. And here comes number two. He's got Kexta with a body blocking him, though. Oh, goddamn shame. Is spec now. Trying to leave it on the left side. He's got a one on one. Can't win that one right there, though. Is Damien going to pick it up, though? Bounces up high. Nice shot on a bug. Can't get past Dickfish, though. Nice little start to Dooku right here. Three grabs in the first, not even a minute yet. It's Damien trying to attack back in right here. It is, in fact, Bug and Dickfish on D, and for X Machina, I'd imagine it's uh, Stong and. Uh, what is it? Stong and uh, Unbreak, maybe? Let's see what Unbreak's doing. Yes. Or, wait, uh, wait. What is he doing? No, Unbreak. Yeah, I think Unbreak is on D, okay. That's Chaos now. Grab number three already for him. Trying to leave it on the left side. Marky's going to pick that one up. He had another cover with him. SP is starting out well to this one, to be honest. As Spec now. Nice uh, shot on a dickfish. He's going to wait it up high right here. Kills Bug down in the stairs. Nice double out of the base. He's made it out high mid. He's going to pick up some cover right here. He's going to make it into his high. Right when I say SP started out well. Caster Curves coming in hot. Right here is Apoc. Going to pick it up in his high. And that's a score for X Machina and a 1 0. Unfortunate stuff. It's, uh, X Machina is the home team, yeah. As, as Dickfish now, a counter grab from D made it out mid, and it was picked up by Chaos. Spec down in the high, where's Chaos? He's down in front of their stairs. Can they pick that one up? It's laying right there. Bug does, it's laying in their stairs, and he's gonna pick that one back up. Can they convert this one to tie it? Kangsta grabbed it, but Damien came in from behind. You saw him coming in from behind right there, and they do end up saving that flag, so. In any case, SP. Despite being down 1-0, they are playing pretty damn well to start this one. They've they've had a ton of pressure on that flag. Two flags out to mid now by them. One in the side, their base. But with that being said, the beautiful run out of Spec does have it at a 1-0 for X Machina at the moment. Spec cam, absolutely, Mr. Padge. We'll get that done right now. Switch on over to Mr. Spectre right here. Of course, it's the last guy I get to. Where the hell is he? Oh, no, I just went past him. There he is. Aspect leading in frags, and he's got three grabs. Oh, the Ultra coming in with a grab right here on Aspect. Gonna bounce it up high. He's got one chasing after him. It's Dickfish. And Dickfish finally gonna stop. Stop Spect right here. On fire right now is Spect. Just killing everything. But still grabbing while doing it. He's got four grabs leading the server and grabs. God damn, spec strong start to the game right here. A powerful man is spec, perhaps coding something in IG Plus that allows him to cheat his face off without being detected. Who knows? But uh, one way or another, spec being pretty impactful to start this one. So we see him now trying to attack back in on the main. He tried to switch to the left. He had one in there with him. And random question, was Revolt on the X Machina roster? I don't believe I've seen him play all season if he was. I know he was on their Draft Cup team, but I don't think I've seen him play. So is he not on their roster? What's up with Revolt? It is a notable name missing out of this one. Oh, he's got no internet. He's got the Riven going on right now. Riven yet to play a match for us. He's been without internet for... Damn near a month now. Apparently supposed to get it back soon, so... Revolt suffering the same fate right there. As we see Spect, he's on pace for 200 at the moment. It's Kangsta. He's gonna bounce it up high. He's got Chaos with him. 
Uh, Chaos gonna pick that one up. He's gonna perhaps switch it to left. No. Oh, his cover got boosted and high. Beautiful stuff. He's gonna make it up right mid right here. His Chaos. He's got a couple of cover. One cut him off in the back. It was Apoc. Then that one could not be picked up. Stong's gonna end up returning it. I like the teamwork coming out of SP, and this is what I was talking about. Without Azur, they have better attackers now. They have a more balanced attack, and you're seeing it. They have excellent pressure onto that X Machina base. And despite being down 1 0, this has been uh, one of the better starts I've seen out of SP all season long. So it's good to see. Again, I think Azur bailing on them is a blessing in disguise. I like this lineup better at a SP. High axis. Go Marky. We got some Marky fans in here right now. You see Spec trying to come in through the stairs. Damien picked one up. Couldn't make it very far though. The Spec, he's doing a lot of back shooting, but again, he's uh, still keeping pressure on that flag. You see him coming in with Marky. Or uh, not Marky. Someone was in there with him in any case. Ah, uh, Spec missed the flag. It's gonna. Where? What is going on? Apox in his base. I was so focused on Spec, and and during that time, Apox brought it back. I was so focused on Spec. I he was in their flag room, so I thought that he was he was covering. But he was covering from the flag room, but it was already out mid. It's just a chaos trying to get out mid right here. He's going to make it out on the left side mid. Two or three there. Could, surely they can pick this one up. Kangsta does. Down in front of their stairs. Killed by Unbreak. Bug going to pick it up now. That shut down as well. And Apoc going to return it. It is a 2-0 for X Machina. SP though. They've now had two or three flags in their base. They can't quite seal it off though. That's the only area they're lacking at the moment. They, they are getting lots of flags out of the base. But just haven't been able to convert any of these just yet. Let's see if they can pick that one up right there. Uh, Damien grab leader with five and he's got two caps to go along with that. Apoc trying to bounce high. Too many on him though. Just unbreak and uh, Stawn doing pretty well on defense so far. Both around 60 efficiency. Bug and Dickfish. I mean, they're not doing great. But not horrible. It is 2 0, but their stats aren't too bad. Perhaps just not getting quite enough support out of their attackers on the fallback right now. To see uh, Marky here. Watch a bit of Marky right now. Rasta thinks they'll tie with 10 minutes left. You see Apoch jumping straight out main. Almost made it to high mid, but bugging a multi out that play. Here's the play back for SP. I spec now. Grabs and dies instantly. Courtesy Dickfish. And spec now. Fragging machine. You see the pack shot on a gangsta right there. Gonna come in through high. Get the high D as well. Can't get past Bug though. Who's waiting up in the high right. Apoc isn't been seen yet. Now he has. Bug playing the low position up in the high right flag room at the moment. Throwing off uh, X Machina a bit, I believe that positioning is. See how long that works. Out of Bug is Kegson now, trying to leave out the main. He's going to switch it to the left. He's got a cover right here. Might make it out left mid, and he almost did. Chaos going to pick it up, though. Chaos has many. Oh, he tried to switch right. Gets killed and returned. Stalin killed it. And uh, it does get returned. So, Annette, another flag mid for SP. But uh, unable, unable again to get anything out of that one. And so we see Chaos again with another grab. His cover died as well, so he's out of there. Marky trying to come on back in. Saw a bunch bouncing out right there. How is Marky doing? He's up five grabs. He is tied in the grab lead on his team uh, with Chaos. This guy who just took the lead with grab number six right there. Show us Marky POV. Here he is right here as he kills the low D on break. 
Chaos with a grab. Hidden here he is. He's going to bounce it up high. He's going to switch it to low. He's got to cover with him. Going to make it up to high mid right there. Perhaps a bad switch. He should have stayed with his cover. As Damien now, he's going to bounce it out too. Switching it up to the left side. He's going to make a left mid right here. As Damien, nice shot on a bug. They had to cover with him. It was Stong. He's going to bounce it up to his high mid. Nice shot on a bug. Stong, he dropped into his bump. Apoc going to pick this one up. And Dinkfish was there to cut that one off. And that's a big save by Dinkfish. Keeps SP in the game. Just hit the midway mark of the map. Ten minutes here. Left to go. And they do keep it a two-cap uh, advantage for SP right there. So, Or for uh, X Machina, rather. So that was a big save. We'll check out some more Marky for a moment here. So we see him in the base right now. He's going to try to cover Kengsta. They had three in the base, two of them down already. There's one more in there. And uh, it was Chaos who eventually died right on the flag as well. But you can see the attack on SP a lot, a lot stronger with Azur not in the game. There's absolutely no question about that. And Marky couldn't get past the two. Or so Apoc, he's going to try to make it a left mid right here. He has a cover. Spec was there. Damien, it was Damien rather, he picked it up and they might try to boost him here, and they do boost him, and he's in his high right now, Damien is, and he's gonna score that one, and on break you saw with a random monster kill sealing off that base there, and that is a 3-0, in a way you gotta feel bad for SP, they have played quite strong, but just the plays in mid have uh, gone a lot better for X Machina than that for SP. And uh, the boost working out right there for X Machina. And uh, it's starting to get to the point where it might be getting close to out of reach for SP here. Unfortunate stuff. They've had a, a good attacking game, but the team playing mid has just been stronger on the side of X Machina. And that is the difference right now. So you see APOC coming in again. There's three of them in the base right there. Spec's going to pick it up. And he dropped it down the main. Can they pick that one up? And they can. Damien does. And they boosted him. Oh, the, they didn't hit the boost at high mid, but he's high mid anyway. He's going to make it to his base high mid right here. Chaos died. Stong going to return that one. You see Spect with a triple monster kill. He's still monster killing. He's still going. It's Spect. It doesn't end. I wish I was on him right there. It finally, his monster kill ended. And he had three or four right there. It's up to 118 frags already. It's Spect. Absolutely absurd game coming out of him right now. Four covers, six grabs, two assists to go along with those frags. So that was a nice team play on that run at a X Machina right there, and that is a 4-0. And I guess perhaps the defense uh, not quite strong enough. Bugs is struggling. He's too inactive. It's only got 68 frags, 49 efficiency now on the D side right there. Monster kill, you done. So yeah, expect uh, this guy right here looking pretty damn strong in this game. This Marky now going to grab and bounce it up high. One spawn on him up there. Rip new CTF on that play. Is uh, Apoc made it over to the left side mid. Can they pick that one up? It's going to be laying right there still, I believe. I don't think that was returned, was it? No, it isn't. It's still laying there. Eventually, Bug does, and it returned that. It's a good thing he did, because there was four X Machina right on that thing. And if they were able to pick that up, that surely would have been cap number five for X Machina right there. As we see Damien now trying to make it to the flagrant. When he does, he kills Dickfish. They both spawn out, out in front of him right there. So they're going to return that one. See what Marky can do. Can't get past Stong. Dead in the flagrant. Chaos is going to pick it up and come out the left side, though. And Chaos is out left mid right here. See if they can boost him in. He had one with him. Uh, he doesn't go for the boost. They go for the cover instead. Where's Damien? Damien's made it right mid. Can they? Oh, no. Apoc ended up cutting off. A Both flags ended up getting returned. I don't think anyone stayed to cover Chaos right there. And uh, at the end of it, both flags are going to get returned. Some unlucky stuff coming in for SP right here. And we got six minutes left to go. And still a 4-0 uh, advantage on Dooku for X Machina. And Spec now. Grab number nine. He's picking up the grabs too. And it ends up dying, trying to head out of uh, high mid right there. He's coming on back in. No one is on him just yet. He's in the high right now. Gets one D. It's Dickfish. 
He's gonna pick that one up. It was never returned. It was still laying main. And nice shot on Diffus dropping down on him right there. He's switching up to right mid. Here comes Spec. Drops it in the stairs. He gets a favorable spawn, but couldn't quite pick that up. That was the best spawn he could get right there. Almost picked up his own drop. Did Spec right there. Nice try. Just over five minutes left to go in this one. Spec coming in again. He's got to cover in here with him. So he's waiting for uh, Damien to grab. Damien does. Spec dies, and Damien eventually does as well. Now you've cooked it on his tail. <laughs> Good stuff, Lou. Good stuff indeed. Unfortunately, we can't see absolutely everything here. We tried to, but got to watch the flag run. Hit randomly be on Spec's monster kill doing that, unfortunately. So this uh, is going to be a map one win here for X Machina and a very well played one at that. And perhaps after this map we'll watch that clip on stream for you guys so we can uh, see that monster kill. From what I saw it looked to be at least three or four of them, maybe more, I don't know. But it was uh, quite the seal off to say the least, it's chaos now. Going to make it already mid, can they finally seal one off here? Bug picked it up and they was dropped again. Chaos gonna pick that one up. You see Spec now. He's been outright made it as well. They're finally onto him now. But nice double out of Spec, and we got a flag standoff right here. Yeah, Spec is insane. He played very well in the uh, synergy match as well. He's quite the beast, is Spec. What am I seeing him go on return right here? Is all oh, Apoc? Nice double out of Chaos, covering himself right there. See what happens on this flag standoff. Stong and Unbreak gonna be on the cover right there. Hovering for spec. That's gonna be a tough Don't one you. for uh, SP to get back. Just getting away from spec covering himself would be would be hard enough right here. Is chaos is pressure on him yet again. Spec died. Spec did die, and eventually uh, gets that one back. So is anyone going to win this flag standoff? Three minutes left to go. Spec died. Kangsta got a double in there, and Kangsta does return it. They got to just kill one guy in here? Are oh, you got to be kidding me? Surely not. They did kill Apoc. They got to pick that up. Come on, SP. And there we go. Finally, the first score of the match. Coming in for uh, SP right there. At least they get a feel, feels good cap into this one, but it's going to be a feels good counter cap by the looks of it. Oh, it does get returned by Dickfish. Nice return right there. Spec playing on 85. Surely not, Crux. A spec, Mr. 85 himself. That is a god-awful fob to play on, but it makes people easy to hit. You just can't see anything. Caden plays on it, too. As Chaos, now he's made it out to the right mid right here. Can they pick that one up? He had one there, Marky. And he does pick it up, does Marky. Oh, and uh, I think it was Spec came in from behind, or Damien. It's still laying there, though. Multi out of Kangsta. That's a nice pickup right there. Oh, it eventually gets returned by Damien. Too bad. The, the SP has had... They've had their opportunities in this game. There's no question. They have had a large number of flags back to their base. So many close plays and they just can't clutch up these mid battles to uh, convert these things. Should I have an emote that says Shirley? <laughs> Perhaps it'll be the next emote. I think we're close to unlocking another emote. I think uh, I'd have to double check. I think we only need uh, a few more subs though to unlock more emotes. So. We shall see if we hit that mark, we'll also get some more emotes made as Kangsta now. He's made it out to the left mid, and here we go again on the mid battle. Can SP win this one? They're losing them all, but it's into their stairs right here. Dickfish trying to bring it in, getting caught up on the stairs. Spec came in from high! Spec undoubtedly a brick fucking wall all match. He dodged down from high mid into five of SP right there and slapped his massive dong into their face and just returns that flag right in front of them and specked 
just total beast mode right now and they can't stop him god damn expect what a beast in this match right here and we see him again with another grab right there he's even up to 12 grabs even leading his team in grabs up to 176 francs absurd stuff out of spec in this match god damn it Woo! As Chaos gonna force advantage anyway right here, perhaps not. Nah, it's gonna get returned. Specs happy to force advantage though. And he's up in the high right now. He kills Tiffus. He's gonna get the double. I know he will, right? He's gonna make it out to right mid. Oh, he can't. Bug gonna kill him. And that will be a four to one final. X Machine. Uh, you know who the player of the match is. It's Specs by a mile right there. And Lewis, if you wanna link that. Uh, Clip again. I'll watch that on stream. Quick of the monster kill seal off by Spect. No, the clip. Thank you. Let's have a look. One, 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 one. <clears throat> one, He's clear, he's clear, he's clear, he's clear. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice, man, what the fuck? <laughs> oh. Back at the casting, that was pretty absurd. What the fuck, man, says Stong, and I agree. <laughs> Quite the play at a spec. He is definitely playing on 85. His UT just looks disgusting. But again, when you're in close proximity to people, 85, it's like, it makes it so easy to hit them. It's not good for long range. You can't see anything. But uh, for those close range battles and XTDM, things like that, it's, it's uh, quite a good fob to use. Prime fear versus spec to which tough. That's not even a discussion. You know it's fear. Come on, Padge, let's go. Quick minimize right here. As I'm just going to take a quick, uh, just one minute I break, guys. I'm going to run to the washroom. I will be right back. I'll see you in a second. And we're back. And what is happening here? Lunatic is in. Mystical's in. So X Machina has made two changes to their lineup right here. So that would mean Damien is out of there. And who would be the other one? Stong. So two different players for X Machina and the countdown is underway. Right here for map number two. And their lineup still looks really strong, and as long as this guy's in it, it should be more than just fine. Specked. Absolute monster. 
As Mystical now coming in with the first grab of the game right here. He's trying to leave it out on the left mid. He's got to cover with him. He's already on left mid. No one's on him just yet. Chaos tried to cut him off, and he's made it into a space left already. And this can be a quick one. Oh, already for X Machine. Now that's a big score right there. He went freely out of the base. There was no one to cut him off until mid. And even at mid, there was only one. It was Chaos, and that was it. Unlucky timing in a way, I think they were pushing trying to cover uh, their own play carrier was SP. And uh, X Machina looking good. That is for certain. It's mystical. Second grab of the game already for him. He already capped one. And here he comes out on the right side right here. He's being boosted across in his base right already. Where's Kangsta? He's trying to leave it on the left side. He's got a one-on-one -on -one to win right here. And if he doesn't, he doesn't. And that means Mystical is going to be two for two right here. And that's a 2-0 and a quick one for X Machina. Mystical, what the fuck? 90 efficiency. Two grabs, two caps. What is happening with Mystical right here? Or whatever. I hope I, it is Mystical, right? That is his name, I think. Um, quite a start by him, to say the least. SP Div 3 team? They're definitely not a Div 3 team. At this stage, I would probably say that... They probably should have been Div 2, and DMK should have been Div 1. But, it's hard to get these things perfect before you see teams play. As we see Mystical on the left side, he finally died. They're not going to let him go 3 for 3 this time. As, uh, wait, Spec picked that up. The, oh, the unstoppable Spec picked it up somehow. And that is, in fact, still going to be a 3-0. Three, oh. Three caps, two minutes in here for X Machina, and it's getting out of hand. SP is completely falling apart. And uh, Qubit, thanks for the follow during that too. Just caught that one right there. Tough stuff right here. Mystical 2 for 2. Apoc, this guy right here has got a server grab of the game. He's trying to leave out on the right side. He eventually dies. Trying to beast his way out of that base right there. So let's have a look at uh, this mystical again. As he grabs again, he's, uh, he can't get the three for three, so Marky's gonna kill him. Still at 70 efficiency attacking. This is uh, mystical. Strong start coming out of him. Don't really know much at all about this player. I see him pug the odd time, but I don't really know. Uh, I don't know much about him. I don't recall him from back in the day or anything, perhaps a CB player, who knows, but they're trying to get out again on that uh, on that play as Chaos died and Spec picked it up and Dickfish frantically trying to get that one back. Eventually, Bug does. They're trying to stop the bleeding here as SP, but they really can't get a whole hell of a lot going. Kick, oh, so he's in kick. So he's an old school player, is he? He would have to be if he was on kick. Kangsta, he is a good player on command, and he has been, he's already up to six grabs. This is Kangsta, only two for Marky, and uh, this is Chaos right here. With, it says one, but I think that's his second grab. <laughs> Apoc and Attack and now the flag room right there. <laughs> Chaos has Pagalos? Doesn't look like it. Not at the moment, anyways. We see uh, Mystical. He's made it up right mid right here. He's picked up a couple cover. They're with him as well. They're going to steal that off. Nice little stall coming in right there. Buying himself some time. And what is happening? They're in their base right. This is Marky right here. So we do have a flag standoff. Both flags made it into their base right here. So perhaps if SP can win this flag standoff, they have that will put themselves back into the game for sure. There's still 15 and a half minutes left. So... Real important flag standoff right here for SP to win, and they gotta win it. They have to. It's gonna be tough, because I believe Spect is on return, and so is Mystical. He's looked really strong. So we'll see what hap- What? Uh. Uh. I don't know what happened. That, that was a skull though for SP! It- The flag got returned in the slime. I don't know if- 
I'm assuming he got shot and the flag flew in the slime. <laughs> if he just fell into the slime, I'm that really sucks that I didn't see that. But perhaps. Uh, we'll do a post-game interview and try to find out afterwards. I don't know, but either way, SP did win that flag standoff, so that's important. They are within two right now, lots of time, and it is command, so... They are back in the game, and Kangsta, he's at eight grabs already. So, Kangsta and 42 kills. Kangsta's really good on this map. And he's had an excellent start as Chaos now. I'm going to switch it to the uh, left side right here. He's got a one-on-one. -on -one. APOC on the fallback, though... Gonna shut that one down. Teammate boosted? Did that really happen? Did he get boosted into the slime? I had a feeling it might be something like that. Something did not seem right with that return. As Kangsta, he tried to go inner middle right there. Was shot by Mystical. Hasn't been returned yet. Chaos did pick it up eventually, but they do return that one, so. SP again getting flags mid, like just the same as they did on Dooku quite quite often. And uh, if they could ever just start winning these mid-battles, they would be uh, able to get themselves back into this game, I think, for sure. Tolo is here. Good day, Mr. Tolo. A spec now. He's got a cover here with him. And what's he going to do? He's going to switch it, perhaps. Oh, his cover didn't even know, and he left it on the left side. And it does end up getting returned by Bug right there. Spec didn't want cover. He said, get the fuck out of here. He switched up sides. Spec just wants to do it himself. You see him coming in now on the right side. Takes, di takes Dickfish down. He's waiting for his... Uh, he had someone in there with him. He's waiting for him to grab, but he must have died. It's Chaos now going to grab and uh, be sent straight to hell by Lunatic there. And how is... So Lunatic is defense right now with on break. So that was... The D swap out Lunatic in for Stong right there. And uh, he's uh, having a pretty good start, to be fair. So doing his part right there is Lunatic. As we see Apoc trying to get out left side. What, what's Kanks to do? He's trying to get out left as well. And he's going to make this dodge right here down. But he can't. If he could have won that one-on-one -on -one with Unbreak right there, he perhaps could have picked up some cover and converted that one. Unfortunately, he could not do it. And we have 12 minutes left to go. 3-1 advantage still for X Machina. Kangsta coming back in the base now. Gets 1D. Lunatic can't get past on break, though. He moved right over to that side. As Mystical is... Game over, man. Mystical Game is... Over. Slowed down a little bit. I mean, he's still... Still quite strong looking. As uh, thanks for the follow, uh, Dev... Uh, Jerem... Thank you, sir, for the follow right there. Mystical seems like a... It definitely doesn't look like a very fast moving, sort of super quick flag runner type guy, but he's... He's a frag everything that moves. Go for frags at all costs type guys. We see Marky made it out to the inner mid right there. Am I going to pick that one up? Can they seal this one off? They have to. Kangsta's going to pick it up. Nice little boost right there. They're in their left right here. Cutoff coming in from right, and they do seal that one. And that's a big score. And they did finally win a mid battle there. Did SP, and that's a 3 2 with Spec trying to counter cap right here. Nice boosting out of APOC, but they do collapse on them. And that's a big team play coming out of SP right there, and well played. And it is now 3 to 2 now. So you got to give SP credit. They went down 3-0 really quick to start command. And they brought themselves right back. And it's 3-2 right here. So you got to respect that out of uh, SP. They didn't roll over and die after the bad start. And you see them again. They've made it to their base left. They're going to pick it up in Mystical with a multi-return right there. And that is a key save out of Mystical right there to stop the bleeding. The momentum heavily in SP's favor right now. And this could be a counter coming right here. They got two cover with Mystical right now. Spect and... Uh, who was it? Who is the guy with that skin? It's Apoc, right? Apoc was with him, but that does get returned. So that's important for SP to return that one. As we see Apoc now trying to leave it left right here. And Bug's going to cut him off. Close match right here on command between these two. Nice comeback so far at SP. We'll see if they can complete that comeback. Kangsta just keeps pouring it on. 14 grabs and a cap. The highest grabber on his team after him is Chaos with only 5. 
So, uh, Kangsta just beast mode in command right now. Spect is the frag leader again, but he's definitely not feeling quite as impactful as he was on uh, Dooku. I don't think there's uh, much question about that, but still, uh, the attack for uh, X Machina is quite strong, and they've uh, had good teamwork. Both teams have, really. As Spec coming in right now, he does kill Kangsta. Can't get past Bug, though. And how is Bug doing, anyway? Uh, 50 kills, 46 efficiency, both, uh, and Dickfish at 51 and 57, so. I mean, they're not getting run over by any means. They're, they're playing well enough to keep their team in it, so that's about all you can ask out of the SP defense right there. So they're doing their part. As long as they get some support from the attackers, they should be okay. As Kangsta now, he had two cover right there, and Chaos gonna pick it up. Oh, he gets body blocked. They're gonna switch it up to the inner middle. Oh, X Machina had no idea initially. Mystical was the only one who saw that one going uh, to the inner mid. You saw two of X Machina dodging uh, to the outer side there, and if it wasn't for Mystical, that almost certainly would have been a cap for SP, so that's a close play right there. And SP is really playing well right now. As Kangsta coming in again, he's got a cover here with him on the left side. His cover goes down. He's trying to win the one-on-one -on -one with Lunatic, and he does. Kangsta does. And he eventually, nice shot at on break to stop Kangsta, who has 17 grabs now. Ridiculous stuff. By far the grab leader in the server. The next closest is Apoc with 9. Kangsta, really strong game on command here again. Jerome is here. What's up, Jerome? And it is an interesting score. X Machina started with a quick 3-0. A very quick 3-0 to start command. And SP has fought back. And, and I said it prior to the match starting that I honestly like the look of SP's lineup. How it is now, more with this or not in it. They have better attacking, more pressure, and it showed heavily on Dooku. Despite the fact they lost Dooku, they had a ton of flags out, and their teamwork looked better. And you see it again here. They this lineup just has uh, much better uh, map pressure, much better teamwork with Azura not in the lineup. It was just too much of the same with Azura in, and uh, SP has, I think, played really well this match. So we'll see if they can find a tie on command. They did get themselves within uh, one here. So we'll see what happens. As we see Mystical attacking in on... Uh, no, we'll watch Spec to grabs and dies. As JYB advertising other streams on the stream. That's... Good stuff right there. No, it isn't. But anyway, you can check out Specs POV if you like. Um, it's on break. Uh, playing okay on defense. Uh, he's got 68 kills, 50 efficiency. Similar stats coming out of Lunatic. So pretty balanced uh, defense on the side of X Machina right there. <laughs> we know you're always sitting on a beer or ass. Now that's the way it's Kangsta now. He's picked up a couple covers. He's going to make it out to his side left. He gets shot in the back by Mystical. And it's laying right there and they can't. Mystical, I have to say, Mystical has made some key returns by himself. And that guy's AFK, APOC is. Maybe he crashed. And Mystical has been really important right here. And... What is happening? I don't understand what's going on in chat right now, but in any case, Mystical, as I was saying, he has saved the last three in mid, and I feel like if he did not make those multis, SP would have tied this thing, and SP is overwhelming right now. You see it again. They made it into left mid again. Kangsta, that's a big pickup right there. They made it into their base left. Nice kill on Apoc, and they're going to tie it. Kangsta! Scores that one, 19 grams, two caps, and it, it felt inevitable. It really did. K SP has been on fire. X Machina has not been able to stop the relentless attack coming out of Kangsta and company, and their teamwork has been on point. Excellent attack pressure, and I talked about it. That's why I think this lineup is stronger without Azor. And they have completed the comeback thus far. They started again. SP started command. I think SP was up 3-0, only two minutes into this one. And they have brought the time back. We see Apoc trying to answer right here. And he can't. 
an absolute insane momentum in the favor of SP right now. Kangsta absolutely is a machine. 105 frags leading the server in that regard, tied with spec, but 19 grabs and two caps. Just furious pressure coming out of Kangsta. And we saw it in a previous SP match. I, I can't recall who they were playing, but uh, Kangsta was very strong on command there too. So Kangsta is absolutely a force on this map. And there's no question about that one. As Nani is here now. Hello, Nani, as well. It's not... I want to say it's shade toward Azure. Um, again, I think he's a good individual player. And I would make the argument that the, this SP lineup would be perfect. With this, if, you t if Azure was in for bug and Azure was... This is the key, playing defense. <laughs> if Azure was playing defense with bug and they had this... Uh, attack of Kangsta, Marky, and Chaos. That is very strong stuff. And that is the way they should have set their lineup all season long. And they didn't. Azura, I guess, refused to D in. And that's a selfish play. And I don't know if he refused or if the, this is the way they, the captain set positions. But if they set it this way with Azura D in for bug, that's one hell of a strong lineup. But they did not, in fact, do that. And anyway, we see the benefits of this Attack setup is they're, they're out mid again on the left side. He has two covered as Gangsta. Nice going APOC. He's going to make it to his base left right here. He's in left. He's got two chase them. Can they seal it off? And they're going to a Gangsta. That is cap number three on grab number 21. Absolute beast has been Gangsta. And they have four unanswered caps. Does SP, they brought it all the way back. Fantastic play out of SP on command right here. And you gotta respect how they didn't just lay down and die after the horrible start they had to this map. Being down 3-0, they kept fighting, and they fought all the way back to a 4-3 lead. Two and a half minutes left to go. Excellent stuff out of Kangsta and SP all together. Great teamwork. And uh, you gotta appreciate the way they've played command right here. Good stuff. Just pure attack, pure furious pressure. Not playing lame at all. They're falling back when they need to. As uh, Spec going to pick up that one. And you see they fell back when they need to. Big Kangsta. That's what they need to do. They're keeping constant pressure on that base. That's the best way to help your defense. Is to get the other team falling back. And they're doing a perfect job of it. And they just fall back when they need to. So really uh, well played by SP. I can't say it enough. I'm impressed by their team play on command right here. And the way they've kept it together is Kangsta again. That's got to be grab number 23 right there. You saw Chaos with him there. Can Chaos pick that one up? Kangsta got a favorable spot on the left side to cover this one. And he's going to pick up his own drop right here. Is Kangsta. He's wanted to switch it. He was seen by Lunatic now. So he's going to bring it back on the left side. And here he comes. He's out left mid again. Is Kangsta. What? He's going to stall it a bit right here in the tunnel. And here he comes. He was waiting for cover. That's a nice teamwork once again. Where's Apoc? Apoc's been over right mid. This could perhaps be a flag stand. I've got shot by Bug as Kangsta is in his flag room. I hope he has cover with him. He's got one here. At any rate, can they return that one? Can they do it? They can't. Spec can uh, pick it up. And this is going to be a flag standoff. And one hell of an important flag standoff. Nice kill by Marky on that one. Can't return it though. X Machina going to need to win this flag standoff to force a tie. If SB wins it. That will seal the map win for them right here in the comeback. So we'll see what happens. We see Apoc coming in for a temp right here. Gets one of the covers. Can't get the other though. It's Chaos now. We'll see who's returning on the side of SP. We see Marky is right here. See the flag glow right there. So he knows where he's standing. He's going to come in right here. He's got one on him. I believe it's uh, yeah, Unbreakable. It's going to kill him. And is it... The question is now, is it Marky's solo return? What is... So Kang's just holding... What is... We'll see Mi Mystical's attempt first right here. He's coming in on the left side. And he gets shot in the back by Chaos. So, I believe Chaos... Let's see. So, Chaos is on return with Marky. He, I, I think he is helping out. As you can see, he is helping out quite a bit. And no, in fact, he is covering. I think they're doing Marky's solo return, which is honestly smart. As you see, the countdown's coming right here. But Advantage will be in play. So, the game is going to continue... This flag standoff will continue as Marky coming in now. I'm breaking to take him down though. 
as perhaps SP just trying to stall it out, hoping Marky can return, and if not, waiting for the timer to do the job for them. As Spectre the Specs right on him right here! Kangsta, oh, that was a close play, Dickfish eventually gets him. As Kangsta, he dropped the flag for Marky, so I think he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna switch to return now, that's a good choice, let Marky hold. Oh, no! At the moment, Kangsta switched with Marky, the flag was returned. That's too bad. It ends up being a draw. SP deserved to win that. That was really well played by them. Uh, that's unfortunate. Unlucky timing right there for that to happen. Right when he dropped it. I mean, Marky did get that flag, but uh, perhaps he was in an awkward position. Couldn't... Uh, and there, there was one in, I guess. I don't know. And they weren't ready for it. So that's too bad after that beautiful comeback. They end up only getting a draw out of it, did SP. But um, I liked what I saw at SP today. I thought they played very, very well as a team. Their attack looked much better. Much, much stronger right there. So um, that's going to be the end of this match. Guys, check out my YouTube channel, the VOD to this game. And all previous mods are all organized by Cup. And also, clips are on there. Any clips you guys make here on my Twitch channel will also be on my YouTube channel. So, it's a good channel to uh, to check out. And please hit the subscribe button on my YouTube. It's free to do. And the more subscribers we get to that one, um, the more we can perhaps... I'm trying to get uh, UT more of the map, more out there. And it all starts with... Uh, well, it starts with everything. It starts with all the Twitch stuff. I'm trying to get this YouTube thing bigger now. Trying to get our community out there more. And I'll link the YouTube in chat for you guys right there. If you want to check that one out. Again, the VODs uh, to this game and all previous. And your Twitch clips are available on uh, my channel. And I constantly update it. So, uh, With that being said, what time is it? Okay, so let me just double check Discord right here. I believe we're going to be casting another match. And we're going to take perhaps a quick poll because I think there's going to be two matches at the same time. So what do you, what would you guys rather see? So we've got, so we've got to either, uh, where the hell is it? So we either can cast a div three match between PRT and SCT or a div four match between m5 and who is it deadline maybe the scores were four four draw and command and dooku was an x machina win i can't remember the score I think it was what three to the three to one more love for div four i would like to cast shocks again for sure because i believe these two matches are both starting uh in about 45 minutes 45 minutes So we'll cast one of the two of them. It's too bad because they were discussing between 21 and 23. If they had one with 23, we could have got both of them. But it would appear that we're only going to be able to cast one of them. I'm, I'm probably going to end up having... Uh, I don't know. I'll probably end up casting the Div 3 PRT against SET because I kind of... They asked me if I could last night, and I told them I would, so it'd be kind of a dick move if I just casted the other match instead of theirs. So that's going to be the plan, guys. So, um, yeah, in about I'll be back live in about 30, 40 minutes, and we will be on to another cast. So thanks, everyone, for tuning into this one right here. That was a good match. That was a very good match. 
Div 1 match, uh, didn't, it was certainly, certainly nothing like the IFS uh, EU match that we saw. That was just absurd amount of laming going on. That was uh, This match we just watched now was uh, very high action and quite entertaining. So it's good to see that at a Div 1 right there. Uh, so that's going to be the plan, guys. So I'm going to end this one right here. And again, the VOD will be up on my YouTube once I get it all uploaded uh, later today. So yeah, I'll let you guys know when I'm coming back live. We'll be back live in about half an hour. Thanks for tuning in to the first one right here. And I'll see you guys in a little bit.